While this air quality alert is not expected to be as severe as what we experienced a few weeks ago, it's still wise to take precautions. Joining us now is Dr. Norman Edelman. He's a pulmonologist and professor of internal medicine at Stony Brook University. Doctor, good morning. Good morning to you. Now, how does the poor air quality impact our health? You know, what happens to our lungs and the body in general? Yeah, well, that haze we see, those fine particles are ash from the fires in Canada. And they're very fine particles of ash. And ash is very, very acid. And when it gets in your lungs, basically you're getting a burn uh, from the acid particles. And all the sensitive tissues, the lining of your lung, the lining of your nose, uh, will be affected by that. Uh, so you've got an inflammatory response, and if you have underlying lung disease, especially asthma or COPD, uh, you run a risk of an exacerbation of flare-up. Uh, it also, in ways that we don't quite understand, increases the risk of heart attacks in people who have pre-existing heart disease. Now, we had an extreme situation earlier this month. How will this compare to that? Well, by the numbers, it's much less. We're, we're in the hundreds. Uh, as I remember, we made it up to 400, which uh, made New York City for a while the most polluted city in the world. Um, so we're not in that category. We're not in a real dangerous category, but it's high enough to affect sensitive people. And doctor, what's your best advice for people to stay safe until the air clears? Well, um, if you're in the sensitive group, if you have lung disease, if you have heart disease, if you're young, uh, stay indoors if you can. And when you're indoors, try and filter the air. If you have an air conditioner, run it on recirculation so you can use the filter of the air conditioner. Uh, some people prefer to use uh, air purifiers. Uh, they're variably uh, effective, but they can be effective if they have uh, HEPA filters. But people who do have lung disease, they really have to contact their healthcare providers to develop a strategy if they get uh, a flare-up. They have to know whether to increase their medications or other things they should do. Doctor, uh, oh, sorry, sir, go ahead. Uh, the one thing we that I want to make clear is this is particle pollution, not ozone pollution. So uh, for ozone pollution, we say if you need to exercise outdoors, do it very early in the morning or late at night, uh, because that's when the automobiles that generate ozone pollution aren't around. That's not true for the pollution that comes from wildfires. The air is bad 24-7. Okay, Dr. Norman Edelman, pulmonologist from Stony Brook University, thank you so much for being with us this morning. My pleasure. To find out the air quality in your neighborhood, head to our website, cbsnewyork.com. You can type in your zip code in an interactive map. Just click on the red bar at the bottom of the homepage or head to the links and numbers tab.